Hi everybody, I'm Erin Fox, Community Relations Director at the Pinnacle at Plymouth Meeting, a Blue Harbor Senior Living Community. Today we are sitting and meeting with Brian Quigley and Mindy Haggerty of Keller Williams Bluebell. All right, so the first question we have is, what can seniors and their families do now during the, co the COVID quarantine to prepare their homes and themselves for a potential move to a community in the near future? Okay, well, that's a good question. So you're home and you're thinking, what can I do to get ready? I have all this time. So we talk to our partners who do this and help seniors every day. And the first thing they suggested you do is you start to identify items. So you want to ident identify items that you're definitely taking with you. Um, you can identify the items that you're going to donate, the items that you can get rid of. Um, and you can do this with a sticky note, different colors. That'll help you decide. And then we also suggest that you just start small, maybe go through the linen closet, go through um, the spare bedroom, go through some your junk drawer and just start small. And, uh, and then later we can hire, or even now you can hire someone like junk luggers to come in and they will, they're able to come in and, and take the items that you don't want and they will donate or discard. So that's a good place to start. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you. The second question is, what does the real estate market look like now in the Plymouth Meeting and Bluebell area? And what are the agents able to do to help people sell their homes during the quarantine? So that's a great question too, and I'll take that one. So with the quarantine and with um, Governor Wolf's mandates, we can work virtually. So what we've done, and this was about a week to two weeks ago, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sparango Lane in Plymouth Meeting, for $800,000, we were able to get that under contract. It will settle about a month out from now. We're using virtual showings, Matterport Technology. That's a company that uh, Sean May Photography does for us, and photographers are allowed in the home, home inspectors are allowed in the home, um, even appraisers are allowed in the home. We do everything through DocuSign with our clients so they can understand the documents on the computer, we can talk it through over the phone and they can DocuSign. Interesting piece there, we did another one downtown that was 87 and 83 year old owners and they were both able to DocuSign and get that home under contract as well. So virtual closings will probably be the next piece where you can virtually close the property and the seller does not have to attend. They can do it from home and again, DocuSign and e-documents. Great. All right, third question is, uh, what is the COVID addendum to a home sale contract and what can this do to protect seniors and their families? So I think we can both touch on that. Um, Mindy and I have both recently worked with the two uh, closings that we're going to have about a month out and each of them has a COVID-19 addendum. What that can help is alleviate problems and you shared with us, Lindsay, about your client having to possibly go to an extended stay or some other uh, housing, the COVID-19 addendum helps push forward closing dates and negotiated dates and timelines by 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. It gives protection to the senior to possibly even stay at home and lease back to the buyer until they can move into the pinnacle. That's great. Well, thank you so much for answering our questions today. And uh, we look forward to working with you guys. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. And in closing, what we've done is um, obtained a lot of vendor partnerships, mm -hmm. not only to help through like a COVID-19 addendum, mm -hmm. but also to go back to what Mindy had said about junk luggers and clean outs and things that they could do just prior. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you.